So I have this big wall in my living room, an empty wall above the fireplace and a ton of books in the other room. So we have a couple of levels deep. What I want to do is create a built-in library on this entire wall spanning on top of the fireplace and all the way there. So as you can see, I have a corner fireplace. Lots of space actually, it's pretty long. So I want to create a built-in unit that has, you know, angled sides all the way up to the ceiling. I'm gonna do built-in lighting and tie it all together with a nice mantle. And my main goal is to cram this area with as much storage for books as I possibly can. Darwin, you're in the way. So I'm cutting up a full sheet of plywood here and I'm making the shelves nine and a half inches deep, which means that a full sheet of plywood will yield five shelves and not four, which you normally would get if you were cutting it to the standard 11 and a quarter inches. Not to mention, I mean, most books don't need more than like nine inches anyway, so that's plenty of space. For this entire build, I'm using pure bond plywood, which is really nice stuff. I mean, no gaps in between the layers, plus it's made with formaldehyde-free soy-based glue, so eco-friendly, no weird off-gassing, great to build with, and you can pick it up at Home Depot, so very accessible. This is 3 quarter inch birch plywood, which is what I'm using for the main frame. And later I'll show some really interesting plywood that I'm adding as a backing. Of course, the first thing to do is to figure out the cuts, and the angles here make it just a little tricky, so here are a few tips to help you get the distances right for any corner where it's at 45 degrees. So I know I want 9.5 inch deep shelves, and in trying to figure out the distance of the sides of the bookcase, I multiplied 9.5 by the square root of 2, which gives me 13.4. I know the depth of the corner is 53 inches, so to figure out this distance here, I subtract 13.4, which is 39.6, and I multiply that by the square root of 2, which is 55.8. So now I know the front length, the back length, and the angle distance on the sides. Now, remember I mentioned lighting, so I want to add built-in LED strips. So I'm adding grooves here, about a quarter of an inch deep, for the light strips to fit inside. Now, the lights will be pointing downwards, so I'm writing a groove in four pieces, uh, but not the bottom one. then uh, brightening everything up with some paint. And after doing these bigger strips a couple of times, I realized just how much easier it is to do the painting before doing the assembling, at least the first coat. So yeah, just relaxing in the shop at night a bit here, trying to stay warm. <laughs> Now, I mentioned earlier that I'm adding a wooden mantle, and I'm having the mantle line up directly with the first shelf, which means that I need to prop it up a little bit. So this is just a basic frame to get it to the same height as the mantle. And uh, yeah, just spackling the holes right away so I don't forget. Next, I'm measuring out the position of the shelves, and it worked out to about 12 inches in between each shelf. And then it was just a matter of putting it together. So I'm using some scrap pieces held up by clamps to lean each shelf on while screwing it in from the other side. And that worked out pretty good. You get the impression that it's quite large, but this is just massive. What do you think, Darwin? You like it? So, the mantle. 
I'm using some beautiful white oak, which is pretty thick, about two inches. So just trimming it a little bit so it'll fit perfectly. And since it's a mantle, I wanted to add a little bit of a profile to it. So on the underside, I'm rounding a 45 degree edge and on the top side, just rounding it a bit. Then sanding and for a finish using some oil-based armor seal. And yeah, you can really see the nice grain here. Ah, mask marks. So since I'm gonna put in so many strip lights in this whole bookcase project, I don't wanna just put the whole line in. I'm gonna cut them into sections of three lights. I special ordered these lights because they were wider apart. So I'm gonna cut sections of three um, and then solder a line in between to kind of extend it and have some more space in between each light. I now have soldered all the lines for the mantelpiece. So um, I'm gonna drill a hole on the side to make it go out the other way. And next I'm gonna glue these in. So the bookcase is painted white and the lights are white. The wire is white, but I have this black like shrink wrap. Um, but I was thinking maybe I should just wrap some white electrical tape around them just so that when you look up, you're not gonna see these black little dots. And then I'm gonna glue them in. I'm thinking I'm gonna be using polyurethane glue and hot glue. So hot glue to kind of hold it down as the polyurethane glue sets. Uh, this is going into a painted surface, so I don't wanna use yellow glue. I don't wanna rely only on hot glue either. Uh, the glue on the back side, uh, you know, you can't rely on that, plus I have wire to glue down as well. So I now have six sections of light per shelf with a little bit of like space for wires in between. So I cut down on it maybe by a third as opposed to using like the full length of the strips, which would, you know, require a lot more lights and just make it like, like overly bright. This is like gonna be part of a really large wall that has these lights on. So I don't need a ton, a ton of light. I want these to be like accent lights, kind of comfortable uh, lighting to highlight the books and just kind of provide some mood lighting. So once all the lights were in place, I added a top of water-based polyurethane for some extra protection. And mostly I'm adding this because sometimes I found that books can kind of stick to painted surfaces. And this makes it a little less sticky, if you know what I mean. Oh, and here are all the wires soldered together that came through from each shelf. Next up was adding the blocks, which I really just need so the middle of the shelves don't sag. So first I was thinking about just putting these all in the middle, but then I figured that I won't be able to secure them from the top and the bottom. Uh, so instead then I'm staggering the pieces, uh, which I think would look kind of nice anyway. So for the backing here, uh, I have some really beautiful cherry plywood. So I think it's gonna be really nice to have a kind of darker background next to the white and then the lights and kind of offset it a little bit. So I think it's kind of cool to use a nice accent plywood like this where you don't necessarily use it for the whole bookcase, you use it strategically. <laughs> so this is Pure Bond quarter inch cherry, which is just beautiful. And on the Home Depot website, you can find all kinds of species, which are great for accents like this, I think. And in the past, I've used their mahogany as well as their walnut plywoods also, and they have all been just gorgeous.
So just securing these boards with a pin nailer and making sure I'm actually getting it into the shelves from the back uh, so that you won't see the pins from the front. Oh, and uh, just a little tip. If you're lifting something heavy, make sure you use your dominant arm. I'm so close. Apparently my left arm was a little too weak for this lift, but the right okay. arm was okay. So I got it up. <laughs> And uh, there's an outlet in the back here, so I drilled a hole in the backing and I'm just feeding a power strip through to have access to it. And then I'll secure the strip to the side here. Okay, so next up is trim and molding. Dress it all up a little bit. So I got the mantle on here as well. It's nice and seamless here, going from the mantle to the bookcase. So this way there will be room to put, you know, like some candles or whatever on the mantle while you sing the bookcase uh, behind it. Okay, so here is the uh, bookcase above the mantle. I put some books in here. I got the lights on the highest setting right now and I can dim them down as well. Which is kind of nice. So at night, if you wanted more mood lighting, just, just a little bit, or if you want it brighter like this. Of course, this is like the first part of this project that I'm gonna continue uh, doing this wall and I'm gonna create like a nicer box for uh, the electronics. I'm just so, I'm really happy about the way it came out. Having a corner fireplace like this, when we first moved in here, I thought it's a little tricky. Like how do you do that? Because it's so very deep. A lot of people put a TV, you know, on it, but I didn't want to do that. So it was just a little weird space, I thought. And by like kind of capping it off and just putting it like bookcases you know, this is a big space, so we really got a lot of space here, which is really cool. Um, nice also to have a mantle, something a little bit more substantial than what was here before. Uh, so next coming up here, we have uh, the rest of this wall here, which is also going to add an enormous amount of space, hopefully. It's also going to have a counter, lower shelving, some doors, and upper shelving as well. But this, I, I think about almost like the focal point. And I really like having the, uh, the cherry plywood in the back too. So yeah, let me know if you have any questions about this build in the comments below. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you soon. Bye. I feel a little bit, I feel a little bit excited looking at it because it just like, it feels quite, you know, built in. You know, I think the lights really do a lot here. I think they make a big difference having these lights uh, because you go from having kind of a dark space because at night when you have books in a space um, and there's no lights, they just kind of like, it becomes a dark space. Whereas now they're lit up.